It's my great privilege today to introduce you to Vidarian Lowe, a senior member of our football team, a longtime member of our offensive line, and someone who I think is the best example that I have been around of what it means to be a Big Ten student athlete. He's a father of two young children. He's a husband. He and his wife have taken guardianship of his brother. He is someone who has matured during their time on our campus and now no longer is just a young man, he is a man. And we could not be prouder to have him be a member of our Fighting Illini family here at the University of Illinois. Please join me in welcoming to the podium our senior football player, Vidarian Moe. Thank you, Mr. Whitman, for that glorious introduction. I am very grateful to have the opportunity to be able to speak to you all today and represent my fellow Big Ten athletes. I would also like to thank my coach, Brett Bielema, for putting me in this position. This is something that you have made possible for me, and I thank you. I think I speak for everyone when I say that we are all glad to be able to be here and finally speak to each other face to face after the extremely difficult and unbearable past year we've all had to deal with. I'm sure COVID-19 caught everyone off guard with the way it dramatically affected our country. And I'm sure it affected many different people in many different ways. But it is great to finally be able to experience some normalcy in our lives. And it is great for us to finally get back to playing and enjoying the game that we all love. My story starts out like many other college hopeful recruits in this country who just want to play football at the highest level possible. But since then, when I thought life was so simple, it decided to become the opposite of that and morph itself into something that's very unique. If someone would have told me that by my final season in college, I would be married, have two beautiful sons, and also have guardianship of my little brother, I would have told them that you must have just left happy hour or something because you seem out of your mind. Matter of fact, they will be telling the total and complete truth. But despite all that being said, these are things that just many other college athletes don't have to deal with. Before I get into that, I want to speak on my university. I want to speak on how much it means to me and how it has so greatly impacted my life. I think I speak for all my peers in the Big Ten Conference when I say we strive to make our universities proud. We strive for greatness and we dedicate ourselves to our craft day in and day out so that our fans that come in the fall who bleed our colors through and through, who chant our names from the top of their lungs and who spend their hard earned money on our tickets and merchandise, and who also sacrificed that Saturday morning, evenings, and nights to come watch us play this game, no matter if it's at Memorial Stadium or on the road against another Big Ten opponent, are entertained and proud to call themselves a fighting Illini. And once again, I think I speak for everyone when I say that it is such an honor and a privilege to be in this position that many other people would do anything to be in. COVID-19 tried to take the life out of college football. But this year, we will finally get to experience again packed stadiums with 60 to 100,000 people screaming our names. And we will finally get to experience again the opponent's fans telling us that we're just drawing up Madden plays when we come off the field trying to adjust. The chills that us players get hearing the band playing and seeing the lights beam down on the grass when we're waiting in the tunnel before we all take the field. And the moments that we experience whenever we're stuck between being laser focused and living in the moment before kickoff are things that us players will never take for granted ever again. This university and this conference have taught me so many lessons that I carry over into all aspects of my life. These lessons have made me a better student, a better football player, a better friend, a better husband, and a better father. With this being my fifth season playing in the Big Ten Conference, I have come across very talented opponents that I have to match up against every weekend. In order to be at your best and to be able to compete against these guys, I've learned that you cannot take a day off from trying to get better. I learned that you have to take every chance possible to be better than you were the day before. I learned that every second, every inch, and every rep counts, and that there are no do-overs. I learned from my coaches that you have to have a great mindset if you want to be successful, that you have to attack every day wanting to be better than you are the day before, and that if you are mentally weak, then you will break in both your mind and body. I've learned from my teammates that no bond is stronger than brotherhood. 
they've taught me how to hold myself accountable and how to hold each other, each other around me accountable so that we can all go to war for each other on every Saturday. With me learning that I cannot take a day off from trying to be better has helped me as a husband and a father in many different ways. I can't pick and choose which days I want to be a great husband and an okay husband. And I can't pick and choose the days I want to be a fantastic father and a mediocre father. I learned that I have to go into every day with a great mindset that I want to be the best husband possible for my wife. And that I learned that it takes a certain mindset to want to be a great father and to be able to wake up in the middle of the night with my babies or wake up early in the mornings on my days off so I can give my wife a break. And I've learned that no bond is stronger than the bond that me and my younger brother have. I've learned that in order to make him a great man, I have to set the standard high for myself. And I have to continue to grow each and every day and be the best me possible, which will then help him. During my four years at the University of Illinois, I have dealt with a ton of adversity and even more challenges. But even with all that adversity that I have dealt with and all the hardship that have come along with it, the birth of the man that I am today has come about. I have learned that if I lean on my family, my teammates, and my coaches, then I will be able to achieve anything in life. And playing football in the Big Ten Conference have been one of the greatest experiences that I've ever had in my life, but there's still more to come. Thank you.